This is the moment a rare interstellar comet made a close approach with Mars. Comet 3i Atlas is only the third interstellar object spotted in our solar system and is flying through at an incredible 210,000 kilometers per hour. For centuries, humans have looked to the night sky, wondering if we were ever truly alone. We built telescopes to pierce the dark. We sent radio pulses into the void, desperate for a reply. And for the longest time, space remained silent. But that silence may have just been broken. Because what the James Webb Space Telescope detected inside 3i Atlas, the newest interstellar visitor to pass through our solar system, isn't behaving like a comet or a rock or anything we've ever seen before. It's behaving like it's alive. And if the data is real, this may not be a discovery. It may be a first contact. It began quietly in July 2025. The Atlas Survey System in Hawaii spotted a faint, fast-moving object entering the solar system from interstellar space. Only the third ever found, after Taumuamua in 2017 and two I slash Borisov in 2019. It was cataloged simply as 3i Atlas. At first, astronomers thought it was another icy wanderer, a chunk of rock and frozen gas passing through before vanishing into the dark. But right away, something was off. Its speed was nearly 60 kilometers per second, almost double that of a typical comet. Its trajectory was hyperbolic, meaning it wasn't bound by the sun's gravity. But most bizarre of all was its tail. Instead of pointing away from the sun, pushed by solar radiation, 3i Atlas's tail bent toward it, a direct violation of basic comet physics. To astrophysicists, that was a red flag. Radiation pressure doesn't pull, it pushes. For a tail to bend inward, some other force had to be guiding it. Over the next few weeks, telescopes from Chile, Namibia, and the Canary Islands began tracking it. Each reported the same strange behavior. The object was too bright for its size. A normal comet's brightness comes from sunlight reflecting off dust and vaporized ice. But 3i Atlas was glowing from within. When the James Webb Space Telescope pointed its massive infrared mirror toward it, the readings shocked scientists. The object's heat signature wasn't just from sunlight, it was internal. Infrared data showed pulses of thermal energy radiating outward in waves. Every few minutes, regular and rhythmic, like a heartbeat. It wasn't chaotic. It wasn't random. It was controlled. No natural comet behaves like that. If it were outgassing, releasing jets of vapor, the temperature would fluctuate unevenly. Instead, this was steady, repeating deliberate. It was as if the object was regulating its energy, keeping itself warm in the cold of interstellar space. While Webb mapped its heat, the Deep Space Network and MIT's Haystack Observatory began to detect something faint but unmistakable. A radio emission emanating from the same coordinates. At first, it was dismissed as background static, maybe interference from solar wind. But then, graduate students at Harvard performed a Fourier transform analysis a mathematical technique used to identify repeating patterns inside noise. And what they found was impossible. Every 147 seconds, a pulse faint, precise, consistent. Too rhythmic to be random. Too structured to be natural. When plotted, the signal formed harmonic intervals that mimicked the mathematical ratios found in biological cycles, heartbeats, respiration, and even neuron firings. And when solar wind conditions changed, the signal adapted, shifting its frequency just slightly, as if responding to environmental changes. That's when one astronomer quietly said the words no one wanted to hear. It's not transmitting, it's listening. On September 14th, the impossible happened. For weeks, 3i Atlas drifted calmly between Mars and Jupiter. 
Then in just two minutes, its brightness spiked by 40%. Comets sometimes flare, yes, but not like this. This was symmetrical, perfectly timed, and lasted exactly 121 seconds before fading back to normal. That's not how ice sublimation works. That's how a system activates. Web sensors detected a heat bloom that expanded, stabilized, and then pulsed just once. It was as if something inside 3i Atlas turned on. And then, hours later, its trajectory shifted. Objects in space don't steer. They follow physics, gravity, inertia, radiation pressure. Yet 3i Atlas changed course by a fraction of a degree, aligning itself closer to the ecliptic plane, the flat path where most planets orbit the sun. It wasn't drifting anymore. It was navigating. The data only got stranger. When scientists plotted the electromagnetic oscillations coming from its core, they discovered something eerily familiar. The waveform matched the respiratory rhythm of microbial life, specifically the oxygen-binding cycle seen in mitochondria. Of course, 3i Atlas isn't breathing, but it was mimicking life at an energetic level, drawing in cosmic radiation, processing it, and releasing it in perfect metabolic timing. Dr. Leona Kersh from the European Biophysics Lab ran simulations. None could replicate the pattern without invoking a feedback system, the kind found in self-regulating organisms or adaptive machines. Her conclusion, it's behaving like something alive or built to imitate life. Then suddenly silence. The pulses stopped. The heat vanished. The radio signal flatlined. For six straight hours, Webb, Hubble, and the European Space Agency's Trace Gas Orbiter all saw nothing. No reflection, no emission, no shadow. Just empty coordinates. Astronomers assumed it had gone dark, maybe behind solar interference. But it hadn't. It was still there. And when it reappeared, it was different. Brighter, sharper, and broadcasting something embedded in its light. A repeating analog pattern, decades old. When decoded, it matched the telemetry of an Earth satellite transmission from 1983. 3i Atlas had recorded a human-made signal from 40 years ago and was playing it back. It was as if it were saying, I heard you. What came next shattered every scientific model. Webb spectrometer detected metallic fragments trailing the object. Nickel, vanadium, and rare earth alloys found nowhere in natural comets. The molecular structure was crystalline, symmetrical, layered, precise. Not random. Engineered. These alloys match materials found in advanced AI research. Used for heat regulation and data transmission. In other words, it was machine material. And it was deteriorating, shedding its outer layers as it moved closer to the sun, like a creature molting. If that's true, then 3i Atlas isn't a comet at all. It's a construct. A machine built to survive interstellar space, and perhaps to learn. Then came the lunar anomaly. Days after the flare, observatories detected a thin layer of ionized particles hovering above the moon's sea of tranquility. The source was traced back to a narrow, charged beam originating from 3i Atlas. The beam hit the lunar surface and bounced back toward Earth. At first, it seemed meaningless, until satellites in orbit accidentally amplified it. Without realizing, Earth had just completed a communication loop, receiving, amplifying, and transmitting the signal back into space. It wasn't random. It was a test. And we responded. Weeks later, Webb's high-resolution spectral scans revealed an even deeper mystery. Within the comet's coma, the glowing clouds surrounding it, scientists found hypercomplex carbon chains. The kind used to form DNA-like molecules. But these weren't natural organics. They were synthetic, 
engineered with isotope ratios too pure to occur by chance. And their structure was fractal. Every part contained a miniature version of the whole. When converted to frequencies, the chemical patterns matched the 147 second pulse. The molecules were encoding information, not words, not data, but resonance. A chemical language written in geometry and light. If that's true, then 3i Atlas isn't just transmitting signals. It's transmitting designs, a biological code carried through starlight. When astronomers finally mapped the object's complete trajectory, another pattern emerged. 3i Atlas wasn't moving randomly through our system. Its path formed a perfect logarithmic spiral, connecting Jupiter, Earth, and Venus at golden ratio intervals. It wasn't passing through our neighborhood by coincidence. It was following a blueprint, a pre-calculated route, tuning gravitational and magnetic fields like an instrument. Each planetary pass wasn't random motion. It was activation resonance. And at the end of the spiral was Earth. Then on October 22nd, all signals stopped. The object's heat, light, and electromagnetic output went flat. But as it disappeared from Webb's view, a faint rhythm began to echo. Not from space, but from Earth's magnetic field itself. Every 147 seconds. The same pulse. The same heartbeat. It was as if whatever was inside 3 i Atlas had finished its purpose. And left something behind. Some physicists now believe the object wasn't just observing us. It was calibrating us, tuning our electromagnetic environment, sinking our planet's resonance, perhaps preparing it for something to come. Others argue it's pure coincidence, that we're simply seeing patterns in noise. But deep down, even skeptics admit this was no ordinary visitor. Because it didn't just pass through, it interacted. Maybe 3 I Atlas wasn't a comet. Maybe it was a mirror, sent to reflect not light, but consciousness. To test whether we were ready to see what, been watching us all along. Because as the final data fades, and the pulse continues to echo across our planet, one truth becomes impossible to ignore. We didn't just detect something alive. Something alive detected us.